Welcome Leos. I'm back y'all with another reading. So this is like my third time I'm trying to do you guys this read. So hopefully we can get through. Okay. So we're going to start off with the Romance Angels. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm the Empress. Okay, here we talk about divine feminine, divine masculine, collective messages, as well as just like based on love, okay? Um, if you're returning, welcome back. For all the ones who have purchased readings with me, thank y'all so much. As well, guys, if you are interested in booking a personal reading, the price has been discounted to $25 to try to give everybody a chance to get a personal reading with me. All right, the original price, guys, is $67. Okay, so I'm, I'm really trying to help as many people as I can. So if you're interested, my contact information, which is my email address, is going to be pinned in the comment section below. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so somebody's very codependent, okay? Um, I'm definitely seeing that. Somebody here is very codependent, very clingy, holding on to... Um, some feelings here. The same feelings that y'all had in the beginning. Okay, so somebody's still holding on to the feelings in the beginning of the connection. We got pay attention to the red flags. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. There needs to be some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation about what you deserve because it looks like a situation is unrequited and it could be headed towards a separation. Um, so let's let's see what's going on. Let's see how this person feels about you. Hold on, let's start off with these. Let me see. All right, let's see what this person, what do they want to say to the Leo? What does this person want to say to Leo? What do they want to say to Leo? Thank you, gosh. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And at the bottom, we got, you don't know how hard it is to let you go. Okay, so this person has a lot on their mind. They could be considering walking away from this connection. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Let's see what's going on. For some of you, this person has already left the connection. You and this person are already in separation. Let's see what's going on with the masculine and the Leo. What's going on with the masculine and Leo? What's going on with the masculine and the Leo? Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. We got the Four of Cups and the Hermit. I feel... Some of y'all could be dealing with the earth sign. I'm getting Virgo and Taurus or Capricorn. Somebody's very much so disconnected. Okay. This masculine is disconnected. Like they aren't showing that much interest. Okay. With the four of cups and the hermit, I'm really getting like a, not really even like their mind is somewhere else. It could be work with the eight of pentacles here. But this this masculine's mind is it's like they're they're just not their mind isn't on the connection right now. Or their mind is just somewhere else. What is their mind on? What are they thinking about? Okay, the lovers and the 
Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. This masculine is thinking about, they have something else on their mind. Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups is like a lot of things on their mind. So they may have a, just have a lot of things on their mind right now. I'm getting like they they don't feel like it's fair to the relationship. They are thinking about some, they're thinking about, they're thinking about somebody here. Okay, tell me why this Four of Cups is here. Why is the Four of Cups here? This is a lot of cards. Judgment, Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Hangman, and then the Ten of Wands right here at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting like this masculine just feels burnt out. They feel burnt out. They're burnt out. Wow, the Ten of Swords. I'm getting failure. This masculine feels like they're like they're failing. I'm getting like this masculine could feel like they finally got a chance to be in a connection with you and they're failing at it. They're they're feeling like they should have waited. Maybe they feel like they're moving too fast. Like I'm just getting like there's a lot on this masculine's mind. There's a lot. This masculine is like giving up. Yep. Now, this King of Pentacles, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or this is what's on this person's mind. Like, okay, the Page of Swords jumped out. I feel like... I'm hearing, I see, all I see is dollar signs. Two of swords jumped and yeah, they feel like they're not sure where things are headed. That's the issue. They aren't sure where things are headed with you. So they're trying to come up with a new plan. They're trying to come up with some type of new plan. They feel like a failure. They definitely, they feel like a failure. Yeah, I'm feeling like they feel like things have slowed down and it makes them feel worse. They may want to change their mind about something, but they're in too deep. I'm not again, but this is here. Could be, yeah. This. Gosh, I'm getting some tricky, tricky energy. They try to um, be sneaky. They're trying to be sneaky. 
Then we got the sun here, which is Leo's energy. They tried to be sneaky about something and got caught. So maybe you found out something about this masculine. Now they're not sure where the connection is headed. And they're feeling like a straight up failure. Okay, now they have to try to figure out a new plan. But their mind, I'm getting their mind is all over the place. Okay, their mind is all over the place right now. They tried to, they tried to trick you. They tried to manipulate you. And got caught. I also feel like this person feels like they're stuck. Um, and things have gotten way too serious for them. Sometimes it seems it seems like some men are afraid of things going too deep or getting too serious too fast. They're not sure where things are headed between y'all. And they feel like they want to slow things down. I, they wanted the connection to be more fun. I'm, I'm seeing that right now. They wanted more fun out of the connection. But that backfired. That backfired. Now their mind is all over the place. When it comes to this connection, where is this headed? Where is this headed? So these are the red flags. These are the red flags. Okay. What else? I don't need to see what else is going on. What is this masculine in his feelings about so much? What's in this masculine's mind? Why is he such an feelings? I'm getting this masculine is losing patience. They're very upset. They get so upset that they want to fight sometimes. They feel like they need to clear their head. Things are getting tense and they're really worried. They're losing patience. They're, they're guilty about something. This masculine is guilty about something. It has something to do with domesticated. This is home life. Okay. And they are feeling guilty about something. Okay. They're feeling guilty about something. They need to find some type of way to clear their head. To clear their head. Because things are really, really tense. Like this person is really upset. I'm getting like they're losing patience. They need to clear their head. Things are really, really tense. And they're starting to worry. So things are tense in the house. And they're worried. Okay. Things are tense at home. And now they are worried. see what action this masculine is going to take. We got twin flame in return. Okay, so there's some type of block up. Okay, so there is some type of blockage. Okay. There is some type of blockage. This masculine wants to return to a twin flame. They're contemplating. They are heavily contemplating returning to a twin flame. Now, this twin flame could be... Wow, okay. I'm going to put this out there. Purge, 
nostalgia? The answer is yes. Mask and separation and karmic partner and release. So it looks like this masculine released somebody from his past. But I don't know if this, ma I don't feel like this masculine is fully, fully let that go. I feel like he was wearing a mask. And during the separation, I'm getting, he could have dealt with the karmic. He feels stuck. Because he feels like things are falling apart. Okay. What else? How? What action is this masculine going to take towards Leo? All right. So we got vibrations, metamorphosis, and spring. Okay, so this masculine, it looks like he's going through some major changes this season. Okay, he's trying to um, vibrate higher. Maybe he feels like he's been in a low energy. Yeah, we got shadow work. And then we got commitment and destruction. Yeah, I feel like this masculine, a commitment is being, a relationship is, is being destroyed. There's going through a tower moment. And this masculine is feeling stuck because he needs to let go of a karmic. That's what I'm getting. But there's a barrier here between him and a twin flame. Somebody's on his mind. Something's on his mind. And I feel like this masculine is thinking about somebody who he wants to return to. Okay, now a connection is destroyed. It got, it, it went through a tower moment. What else? Forgiveness and compromise. Action and Divine Feminine. I'm here. Be patient with me. I see the signs. Pride and Ego and Third Party. This masculine wants forgiveness and willing to compromise. He's going towards a Divine Feminine. There's some type of barrier. There's some type of block that is stopping him from returning to a twin flame. Somebody who he's been thinking about. This masculine feels stuck. Feeling the need that they need to release a karmic partner. But I, I feel like a connection is being torn apart. That's a lot of tea. Y'all got to let me know what's going on in the comment section. That's a lot of tea. That's a lot of tea. -hee -hee. Okay. So somebody is. I'm getting that somebody is leaving a karmic to go towards the divine feminine. To compromise with their divine feminine. Okay, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, if you're interested in booking a personal, they're $25 for a limited amount of time. Reach out to me via email, and yes, you will get your reading within 24 hours, okay? So I'm going to talk to y'all later. Y'all got to let me know what's going on in the comment section below because that was a lot of tea, okay? <laughs> All right, until next time, guys. Ciao.